So of course the OnePlus Open has now received Android 14 for many of you and it will continue rolling out for many more of you if you've not seen it yet. Be patient, it is indeed coming. I already did a video showing off the big changes, right? The big new features on the OnePlus Open and my video ends with something that very few people seem to be talking about. In fact, I'm not sure that it was even on the change log. It might have been very briefly mentioned, but it needs, I believe, a standalone dedicated video to truly dig into everything that you can do with this new feature. The new feature I'm referring to is integration with Microsoft's phone link. Now, if you're a big viewer of my channel, you probably already know what phone link is, but you probably also know not all phones use it in the same way. And what I'm going to be showing off today is the fact that this phone, the OnePlus Open, now uses it just as well as any other device because it is actually integrated into the operating system, which unlocks a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of features and puts it right up there with the best devices now to integrate with your Windows PC setup. So if you're maybe a former Surface Duo user, a big Microsoft user, this should be very, very big to you. Let's take a look at phone link now. We'll dig in. The first thing I want to point out here is that something does appear to be bugged on mine. This is not the wallpaper that I have on my device. That's the stock wallpaper. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to move on. What is phone link? Basically, it is a central hub to interface with your phone from your PC. Now, my favorite thing that it is able to do, the thing I, I probably used it the most for, strangely enough, is streaming my phone. So if you click on this little icon up there in the corner, this little box will pop up, and you're going to have a pop-up on your phone as well. It's going to ask you if you want to start recording or start casting. At that point, this is going to pop up. And what you have here is a window that can be moved around or resized, whatever you need to do. And that's just your phone, okay? You have full control over your phone wirelessly. I love that they put the Android buttons down here as well to make it easier to control things as you're multitasking and so forth. This works really, really well. But it doesn't just do this. I mean, this is useful enough, right? Because you can just have your phone screen right there controllable by your mouse and keyboard. And a cool thing too, if I start playing this music, that is coming through my PC speakers. So that is really nice. Audio, everything is streaming directly through the computer, but there's more that you can do. Let's close this and let's come over here to applications. We're going to close that little thing there and we can make some some shortcuts here if we want to but primarily what i want you to see is that you can pick a specific app like let's do wise and it's going to fire up just the wise application to be seen now of course this is basically the same thing that we just did as you can see there is the actual home screen it's basically just launching a shortcut into the application of your choice, but that can be really handy. And you can actually add it, like I said, to your favorites. So if there's an app that you're using a lot, boom, there it is. You can fire this thing straight up and there it is on your computer. If you're like me, use these wise cameras. That's a pretty nice way to be able to see these things now that, of course, Android apps are going to be going away on Windows. This could be a decent replacement for that. But of course, there's even more than that. We're going to go over the simple things first. So messages, I have them hidden here, but you can text message from this. Now, I do wish that RCS was integrated. It is not. It'll just be regular SMS, but you can see your text messages, respond to them, so forth and so on. Pretty useful stuff, but you can also potentially take calls from your PC. Now this has to actually be set up and I have not done that yet because I don't actually use this feature. But if you've got Bluetooth, you can set this up and actually take phone calls from your computer this way. And then you can also see the photos that are on your device locally. So that's pretty useful as well. If you don't use something like Google Photos, you can see your pictures like this. You can save them, copy them, do whatever you want. But let's jump into the settings. Let's come down here to features. Cross device copy and paste is the one that I definitely want to draw your attention to. This is really, really cool. If you turn this on, it's really straightforward, guys. If you copy some text on your computer, it's going to pop up on your phone. And if you copy it on your phone, it's going to pop up on your computer. Let me see if I can actually kind of show you this. 
Here we are on threads and I'm just gonna highlight some text and we're gonna copy it. And there it is, it just popped up on my phone and that is there for me to paste whatever I need to do on my device. And now let's open this up here. I just typed out testing, we're gonna hit copy. And in theory, when I paste here, there it is on my computer. How cool is that? Now, prior to this update, you could still install the phone link application, but certain things, I believe cross device copy and paste, and definitely the app streaming, the streaming of the phone screen, the audio, all those things, that would not be a thing. That is something you actually have to properly integrate with this application to do. That is what OnePlus has done here. I actually brought you news about this way back when, like several months ago, that Oppo was going to be partnering with Microsoft to have this kind of integration, and it has arrived on this device. So someone like myself, who was a big Surface Duo user, I used PhoneLink all the time, and then when I left Duo, I mostly left it behind. Now, Samsung has similar integration to this as well. But guys, the OnePlus Open now has the same kind of integration as Samsung does. So that's something, even though like the Pixel Fold has a form factor more similar to the Surface Duo, it does not have this kind of phone link integration. So that's definitely something to consider. The only thing I'll say as a potential downside to this, and this is something you're gonna have to kind of watch yourself, is whether or not this actually has a battery drain impact. I'd seen it in the past on my Duo that sometimes it seemed like it was draining my battery a little bit. That was some time ago. These apps have been updated a ton of times, so maybe it's not as bad, but it's certainly something to kind of watch and keep your eye on. There are also some settings on the OnePlus Open itself that we can look at too. And what better way to do this than to use phone link. Let's expand this application out to about there and we'll do it like that. How cool is that? I used to do this with Duo all the time. So if you go into your settings and look at connection and sharing, link to Windows is in there because again, this is not a standalone app any longer. Now on this screen, this is a setting that was talking about use mobile data. So by default, that's turned off. And again, this may potentially increase that battery drain when you're at about. But if you want this stuff to be, you know, you're out someplace and you want the phone link thing to still be running for whatever reason, you can turn that on. Personally, I think it's worth leaving it off because I'm home, I'm near my computer. If I'm away, I'm not near my computer. So I don't really need to be connected to phone link while I'm away. But maybe there's some reason why you would need to do that. And if you do, that setting is there. You can also click here, which is probably blurred. And then you can actually add multiple computers. You don't have to just be linked to one PC. Let's say you have a PC and like a laptop, you can sync to that other one as well. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Does this sort of thing make you more likely to buy a OnePlus Open? Are you a big Windows person? Does this mean much to you? Are you excited about this? Does this take you back to the days of Surface Duo, but in a newer and more different form factor? Again, hit those comments down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.